Hey YouTube, how you doing? This is the second update for me, and this video comes to you in three parts. Part one, the project. I'm working on a project where every month I take on a different task, and I try to accomplish that task to the best of my ability. This month's task was to make more video responses to YouTube videos that I like. The reason for this task has a lot to do with the community here on YouTube. A lot of people say that the YouTube community is dying, that the community is being taken over by these popular YouTubers and everyone else's content is being buried. What I'm trying to do is my part. As part of the YouTube community, I want to uh, bring views to the videos I like. So if I see a video I like, I'm going to like it, I'm going to comment, I'm going to leave a video comment as a response to try to build the community between me and that person. I'd like to give a warm thanks to the channel The Breadman. That channel has been awesome. I left a video comment and then in their next video they mentioned me all the way towards the end and if you haven't seen any of their videos I'm going to link the latest one right here so you can just click it. A lot of people say that the YouTube community, ah, this is so cool, part two. As many of you know, I grow carnivorous plants, and I've shown a few of you guys some of my carnivores, but I haven't shown you anything recently in terms of Venus flytraps. So here's one right here. It's a Venus flytrap, as you can see, and I grow it in sphagnum moss mixed with peat. Now, this plant is just starting its spring growth. I recently brought a K-Ryu. This is a redder form of the Venus flytrap, but this one as well is not doing too well. The rhizome of this plant still looks really good, so I'm hopeful that something will come out of it. The last thing I want to show you is uh, I started Saracenia seeds a long, long time ago. I can still remember. I don't know when they're going to be big enough for me to want to pop them up. So I started the Saracenia purpurea seedlings, and you can see some of them are coming up now there's one seedling here one seedling here and I have three different varieties growing this over here all the way to the right is the orange form in the middle I have the normal form and over here to the left I have the heterophylla form which is an all green form and that's where I have most of the plants that was just a small carnivorous plant update I wanted to show you some cool carnivorous plants that I'm currently growing over the course of this project I want to show you more stuff Part Free. The Manhattan Orchid Society meeting is this Wednesday. I'm going to be going alone. And this Saturday in Staten Island, they're celebrating Frog Day. There is a link in my pants to the event page, the event's website. And the Black Jungle is going to be there selling carnivorous plants. What plants do I plan on getting? That's a good question. I plan on getting some Saracenia hybrids. Last time I brought Donea Mucipula cup traps and that didn't work out so well. So I plan on buying another Donea Mucipula cup traps. So that's it for this update. See you guys in a week. DFTBA.